Moderator of Face the Nation, Margaret Brennan, joining us now on CBS4 Denver, CBS Denver. Margaret, thanks for taking the time. Late breaking this afternoon, Michael Cohen, the president's fixer, cooperating in the Russia probe, but prosecutors still say he should do serious time in prison. What do you make of that development? Well, for people at home who wonder what this means for the president, uh, what we learned was that uh, in the Southern District of New York, uh, the federal prosecutors there in Manhattan have recommended that Michael Cohen get substantial time in prison, around four years or so, because of the crimes he committed and his uh, attempt to cover up to lie uh, about campaign finance violations, um, other financial crimes, including uh, helping to pay off uh, and use some campaign funding uh, to pay off porn star Stormy Daniels for her alleged affair with then candidate Trump. What we heard from the special prosecutor down here, special counsel, was that uh, Michael Cohen, who has now pled guilty to lying, uh, has been working with him, been helping him to uncover things in that probe. So what's interesting is that in these filings that have been made public today, there are direct lines drawn mm -hmm. back to then candidate Trump uh, directing or providing input on what Cohen was doing. So while Cohen was cr committing crimes, uh, there are direct connections here to the president uh, appearing to sign off on them. Uh, and that is going to be of key interest to people like one of my guests on Sunday, uh, Adam Schiff, a Democrat from California, who's going to be in a key position on the Intel Committee uh, come January when Democrats mm -hmm. take control of the House. We saw you on CBS this morning talking about the arrest of an executive, the chief financial officer, I believe, with China phone giant Huawei. She's in Canada. U.S. wants her extradited here, calling the company a security threat. How might the case impact those trade tensions with China? Well, this could have real impact. While the White House says that the two things are not directly connected, that is, it's not part of a strategy to gain leverage, uh, the White House also says it's companies like Huawei who uh, have been accused by the U.S. of being part and parcel of an espionage operation by China um, and for stealing American uh, intellectual property, that those topics are part of the trade talks. So uh, the arrest of this executive, while it had to do with violations of uh, U.S. sanctions on Iran, uh, this was going to really raise some eyebrows in Beijing. They may not believe here that uh, the U.S. isn't trying to um, use the courts to put them under pressure to make trade concessions. But the White House says the timing is all coincidental here uh, and that the arrest happened because the Justice Department had uncovered these crimes. And that is why uh, the U.S. is seeking extradition. You mentioned Congressman Schiff. Who else will be on Face the Nation this week? We'll be talking uh, with Senator Marco Rubio, Republican from Florida, who's on the Foreign Relations Committee, on the Intelligence Committee. He has been warning about uh, Chinese telecom companies like Huawei being involved in espionage, being a national security threat and a business threat. So we'll talk to him about this particular case. Um, he has cheered the administration's attempts to extradite uh, this executive. We'll also speak with John Thune, who is in Republican leadership right now, about what's going to happen. Uh, with these last few weeks uh, of Congress, uh, what's going to be confirmed. Um, and we also want to speak to what's happening in the marketplace. You see the stock market oh, yeah. really shook up about these China trade talks. We've got uh, Christine Lagarde, who's head of the International Monetary Fund and the chief negotiator for the U.S., uh, Robert Lighthizer. He is the U.S. trade representative. He's viewed as a hardliner. We want to ask him exactly what has been agreed to so far and what is President Trump's main goal. Sure to be a tremendous show. We'll look forward to that on Sunday. Margaret Brennan, thanks as always. I got a lot of homework to do. <laughs> I'm yeah, sure you'll get her thanks. done.